What the hell are these people doing? Daily Mail article from July 13, 2019. 007 is a black female. Actress Lashana Lynch is taking over the famous code name. But that doesn't stop the legendary agent Bond from trying to seduce her. What does one have to do with the other? Stupid. So the article starts off, um, Since Daniel Craig announced he was standing down as James Bond, debate has raged whether the next 007 should be a woman or black. Uh, no. The only people who are debating this are idiots. No one has debated that except for retarded social justice warriors. Everyone else likes the Bond the way he is. Even me. I'm a Hispanic man. Bond is a white heterosexual male. Because that's how he was written. James Bond is not gay. James Bond is not black. James Bond is not female. It's not racist. It's not sexist. It's just the way it is. Ian Fleming wrote him as a straight white male and that's what he is. So, no debate there. Let's read this. See... Since Daniel Craig announced he was standing down as James Bond, debate has raged whether the next 007 should be a woman or black. The Daily Mail revealed that she will be both. Thanks to the intervention of feminist TV writer Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Oh, stupid. You all know who Phoebe Waller-Bridge is? She's the moron who played that... Feminist SJW robot in Star Wars Solo, a Star Wars story. That annoying, cringeworthy, social justice warrior feminist robot. That's a whole nother video. I'm going to do a whole nother video on that. But right now I'm sticking to James Bond, not Star Wars. Because I'm a huge James Bond fan. So it was her dumb idea to make James Bond a black woman. Instead of a white male. Oh man. More garbage ideas from Hollywood. Hollywood. So the article continues. In what's been called a quote unquote popcorn dropping moment. British star Lashana Lynch will be given Bond's license to kill in the 25th movie. So this alleged movie insider claims... There is a pivotal scene at the start of the film where M says, Come in, 007. And in walks Lashana, who is black, beautiful, and a woman. Why did you have to say beautiful? Why didn't you just say who is black and a woman? It's kind of odd that you feel you'd have to put that in there. And then the article continues. It's a popcorn dropping moment. Bond is still Bond. But he's been replaced as 007 by this stunning woman. There it is again. Why not just say Bond has been replaced as 007 by a woman? Why throw in stunning? Does the author of this article not think Lashana Lynch is pretty so she has to tell us that she's pretty? That's a little weird. You know what I mean? That's just a little weird. We'll decide whether or not Lashana Lynch is pretty. I'm sure some people will find it pretty, I'm sure other people don't. So, that this writer is really weird. And then the next paragraph states, Bond is of course sexually attracted to the new female 007 and tries his usual seduction tricks, but is baffled when they don't work on a brilliant young black woman who basically rolls her eyes at him and has no interest in jumping into his bed. Well, certainly not not at the beginning. What the hell is this? Who is this idiot? Catherine Graham for the Daily Mail in Los Angeles. Oh, pff. well, that explains it. Another stupid California Hollywood liberal. Um, excuse me? What? Bond is baffled when his seduction tricks don't work on a woman? Give me a freaking break. That happens like in every Bond movie. I mean, literally, the first movie in this franchise, 
Dr. No. Bond stumbles upon Honey Rider, who is played by Ursula Andress. And he stares at her because she's so pretty. And then she asks him, are you looking for something? And then Bond, being a smart Alex, says, no, I'm just looking. Then Honey Rider pulls a knife out and basically telling him to keep his distance. Bond isn't the least bit phased. Goldfinger. In Goldfinger, the character Pussy Galore, played by Anna Blackman. James Bond tries to seduce, you know, try to, tries to charm Pussy Galore. What does Pussy Galore tell Bond when Bond tries to charm her? Do you know what Pussy Galore's response is? is you can turn off the charm, I'm immune. Completely rebuffs Bond's advances. James Bond isn't the least bit phased. In fact, he probably sees it as kind of a fun challenge. Um, View to a kill. James Bond, played by Roger Moore, he tries to go into this restricted area, and then Grace Jones cuts him off and says, uh-uh, you need to turn it around and move it along. And then James Bond just kind of smirks at her and smiles in this charming way and obliges her. Isn't the least bit phased that his charms didn't work on Grace Jones. And then later in the movie, he sleeps with her. He isn't baffled. Die another day. When the female antagonist, Miranda Frost, played by uh, Rosamund Pike, James Bond, played by Pierce Brosnan, asks her, can I expect the pleasure of your company later? And then Miranda Frost says, I'm afraid you'll never have that pleasure, Mr. Bond. Boom. Completely rebuffs him. James Bond isn't the least bit phased. The only thing he does is he makes a funny little face like, Ouch, burn! But he isn't the least bit baffled. He isn't the least bit discouraged. And of course he sleeps with her later. So, who... This idiot doesn't know the first thing about James Bond. It's like this, what's her face? This, uh, Kath, Carolyn Graham. It's like she's never seen a Bond movie in her life. Why do they have this idiot writing a movie about James Bond when she clearly is completely ignorant about the franchise? All the James Bond fans out there know what I'm talking about. James Bond is not baffled when his seduction tricks don't work. James Bond is not discouraged. Oh my goodness, this is such a dumb article. Then the article goes on talking about, you know, sexual harassment and treatment of women and, you know, the usual feminist garbage. There's, it goes on to say, there's been a lot of talk about whether Bond is relevant or not because of how he treats women. And of course, it's relevant now. The franchise has got to grow, has to evolve. The film needs to treat women properly. Blah, 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 blah. Is this going to be like a James Bond where um, instead of hitting on girls, he's going to say, Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. Do you mind? If I, can I ask you out on a date? <sighs> like, is that what it's supposed to be? Man, this is so stupid. And then it goes on, and then the article basically concludes with the following. This is a bond for the modern era who will appeal to a younger generation while still sticking true to what we all expect in a Bond film. Uh, no, I don't think so, nope. What I expect in a Bond film, and what I'm pretty sure most people expect in a Bond film, including women, what 99% of the people, including women, expect in a Bond film are... Fast cars, beautiful, scantily clad women who end up sleeping with James Bond, if not on the first try, then eventually, and explosions. That's what Bond is. That's what Bond, that's what the franchise is. That's what the franchise has always been. That's that's the kind of stuff we grew up with. That's the kind of stuff we're used to. That's the kind of stuff we like. Um, 
nobody wants to see the James Bond character feel guilty because he happens to be a white male and this is the Me Too era. Nobody wants to see that in Bond. Nobody. Now, I'm not a girl, but I am like 99% sure that girls feel the same way about Bond like I do. That's what they want to see. <laughs> Bond is still Bond, but he's having to learn to deal with the world of Me Too. Oh, please. Jeez, this is so lame. Do these people never learn? <laughs> Do these people never learn? You had Ghostbusters 2016 fail. You had Ocean's 8 fail. You've had Men in Black International fail. This Completely correct feminist garbage ruins movies. Like, I don't know how many times you have to tell Hollywood this. Why don't you just make a new series with a female spy, like, 00 whatever, you know, 0010, 0012, 0015, you know, something. You know, this is probably the first James Bond movie I'm not going to see in the theater where I could have seen it in the theater. Like, obviously, I never saw the first Bond movies in the theater because I wasn't even born yet. But this is the first Bond movie where I, I actually do have a chance to watch it in the theater that I'm not going to watch. I mean, this all seems kind of like rumor. It says, like, an insider told the writer all this stuff. So who knows if it's true? I mean, you know, maybe they're just trolling us. Maybe Lashana Lynch is not the new Bond. Maybe it's just, like, psych. So... Well, I'll see you when the trailer comes out. But if the trailer shows a female Bond, then I'm going to sit this one out. I'm not I'm not even going to get the DVD if that's the case. Because I have, I have the DVD for all of the Bond movies. Um, you know, up until uh, Spectre. This is not Bond if this article by Carolyn Graham is true. I could go on and on and on, but this rant isn't going on too long. So to conclude my rant, here are my predictions for the names of the next Bond movies, in no particular order. Girlfinger, Thunderbell, A View to a Fear, Doctor No Means No, On Her Majesty's Secret Cervix. The Spy Who Loved Me Too, hashtag, Octa Pussy Hat, The World Is Not Woke Enough, Quantum of Safe Space, Spect Her, The Misogynist with the Golden Gun, Never Say Patriarchy Again, and from Russia with collusion. Catherine Graham, Phoebe Waller Bridge, Eon Productions, Albert Broccoli's daughter, whatever, I forget her name. All of you are idiots. You are ruining a wonderful franchise that has existed since the 1960s. I'm so glad that I grew up in the time I did, because I got to enjoy these great Bond movies without it being infested with politically correct garbage. I feel sorry for the new generation.